recent thing my town just got McDonald's. Oh. I'm gonna do this video now because I kept getting distracted and then I kept rubbing my nose off and as you can see there's just smudges all over my face so I'm just gonna do this video before it gets any worse. Let me tell you, I was in a crappy mood just before, but then I searched Crab Stick Stick Aid for about the millionth time to see if any of the Stick Aid updates had been uploaded, and then I found this. More sexy, please. Oh, God. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Wait, wow, wow. Wait, 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 wow. <laughs> My life is so much better now. For those of you who didn't watch, Stick Aid is an event, a charity event run by Miles Dyer. It's to raise money for the starving children in Africa. You better have watched it, otherwise I'm just going to assume you hate children. He's been running it for six years and lots of YouTubers participate and auction off their stuff or things or whatever. Or there's like challenges for every hundred pounds they raise. You just saw before was a challenge. It was actually my favourite challenge. You can tell what kind of person I am now. And then the two people who watch me unsubscribe. And just before I was in my driving lesson and our town just recently got McDonald's and so everybody was rushing to the McDonald's and what my town lacks for in people it certainly makes up for an excitement everybody just everybody from in town and just around our town they were just driving in I was having my driving lesson in my car which I don't really drive all that often it was stressing me out and I had this girl in the car behind me who was just like what is wrong with you in the window and I'm just like everybody hates me and the blinkers are backwards in my car and she kept going go up and I went up and she's like oh no I mean go down on the blinkers and I'm like go down on the blinkers oh I will sorry ah ah that reminds me my favorite Charlie moment of the entire thing was when he made the inappropriate balloon. That was hilarious. I didn't watch the whole 24 hours, I accidentally slept through all of Charlie. Luckily his videos are all up there so I can watch them over and over again. Mostly I was just repeating the one with Kick the PJ and Crab Sticks over and over and over again after I got back from my driving lesson because I was just all emotional. <laughs> and then I watched that and I'm happy again. That was just instant happiness. All of Crabstick's performances were instant happiness. I actually was gonna watch Stick A because of Dan is Now on Fire mostly and Sexy Phil. But Phil couldn't come. And so I had twice the Dan, which was nice. But then everybody took his questions too seriously. And Dan was all nice about it, like, somebody has to be logical. But I'm like, no! Logic? That's not what this is about. We're not logical. Nobody, if they're a logical person, goes and asks these questions. Would you rather questions are supposed to be silly and have silly responses and be fun and... Oh, I love Miles and all that, but he's very serious and intense, as he says. He got me saying intense a lot after that, and every time I say intense, my brain's just like, INTENSE! As in, you know, the camping tense. I completely hate that the Twitter chat was linked to your Twitter feed, so everything that I said went into my Twitter and probably made me look like a crazy fangirl. But even though I even though I sound like a crazy fangirl, I kind of don't regret sounding like a crazy fangirl. Because these people need to know that they're awesome. But for anyone who missed on the crab sticks the crab sticks experience, um, I meant on Stick Aid. Which my brain just translated to Crabstick's experience because he was my favourite part of the entire thing. Because even though I went there to watch mainly Dan, I did have him written down on my whiteboard. I don't know if you can see it properly. But mostly I was like, Dan, 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 can't miss Dan. But I ended up watching all of Crabstick's stuff too. He went in on other people's parts of the show and thank goodness because he was just so entertaining and energetic and hilarious. So funny! So funny! Everything! I just... I can't think of a specific example because it would just make all the other examples seem like they weren't as good and just everything. Everything was good! I just really enjoyed it. 
if you ever get to the chance, go look up Stick Aid and Crab Sticks and watch everything because it was funny. It was funnier than funny. It was hilarious. It was the best. Oh my god. I hope he never watches this. I mean, a bit crazy. The, 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 the whiskers and the talking and the moving and the me being alive. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, and last but not least, PJ, I am disappointed in you. I'm a girl. I can do more than 18 man push-ups. Okay. I'll prove it to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 24, 25. <laughs> uh, you threaten.